Good morning. Today we will study about rigid rotator part 2. In the part 1, we have derived the Schrodinger wave equation for rigid rotator. By applying the postulates of quantum mechanics, we have derived the Schrodinger wave equation that is h cap psi equal to e psi. Okay. Psi is a product of theta function and t, t function. Psi is a product of uh, the wave, the, the total wave function is also called spherical harmonics. It is the refer part 1 rigid rotator. And separate, we have separated into separate, we have, um, we have uh, the Schrodinger wave equation is separated into two equations. Remember, the Schrodinger wave equation for rigid rotator obtained from the Hamiltonian operator, obtained from the Hamiltonian operator, left hand side and right hand side. We have separated into two equations, each depends on only one variable. We have separated the Schrodinger equation for rigid rotator into two equations, left hand side and right hand side. Right hand side depends only on P. The left hand side depends only on theta. Okay. On solving, on solving the right hand side equation of rigid rotator, P, capital P, P equal to M, E power plus or minus I M P. The value of P, P ranges from 0 to 2 pi. We have seen uh, in part 1 again. By applying what is N? N is called a normalization constant. N is called a normalization constant. How it is determined? I have given in separate video. I have given in this uh, in description a link. You can watch that. By applying normalization condition, the value of uh, normalization constant is obtained that is n equal to 1 pi square root of 2 pi. Okay. By applying the normalization condition, the value of n called normalization constant is obtained. Now the wave function, the wave function t is normalized wave function. See, this is normalized wave function we have obtained. Okay, on uh, solving the Schrodinger wave equation for rigid rotator, h cap psi equal to e psi. So we have obtained the p function, next we will obtain the theta function and then we will obtain the e, e uh, eigen energy values, eigen energy values. From the eigen energy values, the rotational spectrum can be obtained. From the eigen energy, eigen energy, rotational energy level values, the rotational spectrum can be obtained, theoretically, okay, without doing experiment, we are able to obtain the, I have also um, given rotational spectroscopy in another video, I will also uh, give you a link here, you can also watch that. Okay, now on solving left hand side, now uh, we have seen right hand side, how the right hand side equation is solved to obtain the quantum number m equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, there are two quantum numbers uh, m and l or required to describe the system completely. On solving the left hand side equation that depends only on theta using associated legendar polynomial. Okay, using so what is associated legendar polynomial? This is nothing but P L modulus of M cos theta. This is called what is called associated legendar polynomial. This function, this mathematical function is called associated legendar polynomial. Okay, theta theta on solving the left hand side equation, the wave function theta theta is obtained equal to n, the legendar polynomial function. Okay, where n is equal to normalization constant. By applying the normalization condition, similarly by applying the normalization condition, the value of n is obtained. The value of n is obtained for theta wave function. Theta function, therefore n equal to 2n plus 1 divided by 2 bracket L minus modulus of M factorial divided by L minus L here L plus modulus of M factorial square root of 2. Now on substituting N in this expression you will get the normalized wave function for theta. So we have obtained the total wave function psi. The total wave function psi is a product of theta, theta, theta and P. Okay. That is called the total wave function is also called spherical harmonics. Okay. Now, by solving the 
left hand side equation we also obtain beta equal to the value of beta the value of beta equal to l into l plus okay where l is called a rotational quantum number where l is called a rotational quantum number now the eigen energy e h cap psi equal to e psi psi is psi we have obtained now e how the eigen energy values the rotational energy level is the rotation energy value level values are obtained this is uh, we have in the part one we have shown the beta equal to 8 pi square i e divided by h square that is beta equal to now we have obtained beta and following this left hand side equation we have obtained beta equal to l into l plus 1 where i is the moment of inertia where i is the moment of inertia it corresponds to mass in uh, um, okay therefore i equal to mu r square mu equal to reduced mass that is reduced mass for linear bare atomic molecule m1 m2 are the mass of these two atoms and r is the bond distance r is the bond distance therefore okay now e equal to on rearranging the equation on rearranging the equation e equal to l into okay you will bring it here and a pi square i become the denominator l into n plus 1 h square divided by a pi square i where l equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, rotational quantum number. Okay, they are, the rotational energy levels are quantized. Remember, the rotational energy levels, the rotational energy levels are quantized. We have, I have discussed in another video, I have given link with this. Please watch the uh, video lesson, okay, about the rotational uh, spectroscopic problems and all. In rotational or this is the number rigid rotator is the principle of rotational and microwave spectroscopy. Rotational spectroscopy or microwave spectroscopy. Okay. The rotational energy transitions occur in microwave region of electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Therefore, E is equal to J into in microwave spectroscopy, L is replaced by J. Both are same. L is replaced by J. J into J plus 1, H square divided by 8 pi square i, where J equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, they are nothing but the rotational quantum numbers. Okay. So, ground state is J equal to 0, ground state is J equal to 0, and the first, the first excited state, if you put E0, you will get 0, okay. and then just J equal to 0, then J equal to 1, then you will get J1 plus 1, you will get um, 2, h, 2 h square by 8 pi square by etc. I have shown in another video. Okay. So, from uh, we know the uh, Black's constant, h square, h is nothing but Black's constant. The energy values, the energy values can also be obtained from rotational spectrum. The energy values can be obtained from rotational spectrum. Once you know the energy values, we can calculate the bond distance by using this equation, delta E. Uh, I have given uh, problems, I have given, I have solved a few problems, okay. So, from rotational and or my, rotational or microwave spectroscopy, the bond distance can be obtained, okay. This is very, very important, uh, how the bond distance is obtained for a molecule, okay, linear molecule, non-linear molecule. Using rotational spectroscopy, it is possible to obtain the bond distance, okay. So, there will be several problems based on these uh, fundamental equations. Okay, thank you for watching.